Hey guys, Joe Simons here with a quick word of encouragement from the men's ministry team at Calvary Church. So how many of you are familiar with the verse, Jeremiah 29, 11? It has to be one of the most popular verses in the Old Testament. Here's what it says. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now how many of you know the context behind this verse? Jeremiah 29 is a letter written to the exiles in Babylon after the fall of Jerusalem. Sound familiar? The Israelites have been taken from their homes, their places of work, their places of school, and stripped of a lot of their freedoms. How many of you have faced a major life disruption from COVID-19? Let's see what else Jeremiah 29 has to say. First thing I see in verse 4 is it says, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. It wasn't King Nebuchadnezzar doing the carrying here, it was God. And in the same way, God is sovereign over this whole COVID-19 situation. He's placed our government officials where they are, and he has a purpose for this disease. Next, in verses 5 and 6, it says, Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. I think the Israelites were pretty excited to get back to life as normal. But what God's telling them here is, you're going to be here for a while. So instead of focusing on what's next, focus on what you're doing now. I think that can apply to us today too. A lot of the health professionals are saying it could be up to 18 months till we have a vaccine for this. So we may have social distancing and wearing masks and not being able to get back to life as we know it for a while. So instead of focusing on the news and what's happening, try to focus on what you're doing. Getting in the Word, praying, taking care of your family, doing your job. The next thing I see in verse 7, it says, Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. So since this whole pandemic has broken out, a lot of us find ourselves in different circles of influence than we were before. We may have more interaction with our neighbors. We may have more interaction with family members. Um, we may just be in different scenarios than we were before. So what this is saying is try to take advantage of those situations. Pray for the people in your circle of influence and try to make sure that they prosper. Because if they prosper, so will you. And then we get to the next part. Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. But it doesn't stop there. It keeps going. It also says, Then you will call upon me and come pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring, back, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the places from which I have carried you into exile. It doesn't get much better than that. So many good promises from the Lord. I hope this was encouraging to you. If you have anything else you'd like us to talk about, please comment below. Take care.